earlier in this video, we mentioned the beta decay, where you have a down becoming an up, plus an electron, plus an antineutrino of the electron. This occurs naturally, but do you know why? The down is slightly heavier than the up. Therefore, the down is slightly less stable than the up, and naturally it will decay to something more stable, therefore the up. You have the same things with the leptons. Take a muon, for example. A muon is a kind of heavy electron, so sooner or later it will become naturally an electron. Plus an antineutrino of the electron and a neutrino of the muon. Let's try to figure out using the quantum number thing. What would be the Feynman diagram? Well, we start with a muon. We're going to write the first vertex. We know it's by the weak force. So it's going to be either a W or a Z as boson. Why do we know it's a weak force? Because these are all leptons. And leptons are not affected by the strong force. So we know it's a weak force. What would I have here? I can't have an electron and I can't have the antineutrino of the electron because if I did this, I would violate the lepton number rule. I need to have a lepton number of the mu of one here and one for after, we'll do, after the reaction. So I can only have the neutrino of the mu on here. Therefore here I've got W, I would keep the charge and get W minus. Then, while well, it's easy, the W minus is actually very heavy, very unstable. It will therefore decay quickly into what rests, the electron, and the antineutrino of the electron. Should put my arrows a bit better. Well, we can deduce easily that it's the electron and the electronic antineutrino that come from the decay of the W minus. Yeah, it makes sense. But we can still check it using quantum number conservation, just as an exercise. So we've got the W minus, gives you an electron, plus the antineutrino of the electron. And I can list the numbers. I'm going to skip the baryon number and the strangeness because, yeah, there's no quarks involved. So it's going to be zero for both of them. So let's do just the charge and the lepton number. Charge, minus one, minus one, zero. Check. Lepton number. This is not a lepton, but this is a lepton, and this is an anti-lepton. So, zero equals zero. Check. Let's do another one. Let's consider a positive pion that transforms into an anti-muon and a muonic neutrino. A pion is a meson, so it's made of a quark and an anti-quark, and a pion is made of a combination of up and down flavors. So in order to have a pion with a plus one charge, it would be an up and an anti-down. Two thirds plus one third gives you plus one. Good. So now actually we can see that what is going on, it's the up and the anti-down that react together to give you this. So we can start to draw the first vertex. We have the up and the anti-down. We see these are leptons, so it's not going to be the strong force. The strong force does not affect leptons, doesn't involve leptons. So it has to be the weak force. It will be a W or Z boson. But the pion has a positive charge. So in order to conserve the charge number, we need to have a positive charge here. So it will be the W plus. And the W plus, a heavy boson, will uh, decay quickly into what you have there. Therefore, an uh, anti muon and the neutrino of the muon. The next reaction is based on an exercise I found in a textbook, and I found it quite interesting. You start with a sigma minus uh, baryon, you get a neutron and a pi minus. They give you the composition of the sigma minus. They also tell you that it is a weak force that is involved and that it is a W minus boson 
which is mediating the force. Draw the Feynman diagram, pause the video, give it a shot. Let's find the composition of the products. A neutron is ddu, and the pi minus, well, it's going to be up and downs, and to have a minus, I need to have a naughty up down. Now, let's simplify this to get rid of the downs. So we've got S giving you an up plus an naughty up down, plus a down. Okay, so we start with an S, and we draw the W minus boson. What should we draw here? Well, S will have a charge of minus one third. W has a charge of minus one, so we need to have a charge of two thirds on this side. We only have the up that does this. And now the W minus will split into the down and the anti up. And it kind of makes sense because they need to be not too far from each other to create a pi minus middle. In this reaction, I have a negative count that transforms into a neutral pion plus an antineutrino of the muon and a muon. The neutral pion is made of an up and anti up. For the kaon, remember a kaon is made of strain flavors plus an up or down flavor. And remember, it also has to be a quark and an anti quark. So here, what will fit with a charge of minus one? Oh no, strange. Anti-up seems good. I want to draw the Feynman diagram of this thing. So my thought is to see that, oh, I have the anti-ups, which are still there, right? Before and after. So the anti-up is going to stay as it is. And then I want my strange to become an up. Actually, the anti-up should be written like this. Now, my strange becomes an up to conserve the baryon number. I know it's a weak force involved here because I have leptons and it's going to be a W. Uh, so here minus one third to two thirds. So it will be minus. And then the W will split into the antineutrino and the muon. Could you check my work? Could you check that this is correct? by using the rules of conservation of quantum numbers. Pause the video. So we have two vertices here, one here and one there. Let's check this one. In this one, I have a strange that becomes an up plus a W minus. So let's check the numbers. Baryon number, one third, one third, zero, check. A lepton number, but zero everywhere. Check. Charge. Uh, minus one third, two thirds, minus one. Ah, it's equal. Check. Strangeness. It's a strange quark, so minus one. Up quark, no strangeness, zero. Ah, oh, strangeness is not conserved. But this is a weak force which is involved. Therefore, in that case, it's okay to have strangeness not conserved. So we're still good. Let's check this one. A W minus becomes a muon plus an antineutrino of the muon. Let's check the numbers. I'm not going to do baryon number and strangeness because, yeah, there's no quarks involved anyway. So I'll just do the lepton number and the charge. Lepton number is 0, 1, minus 1, it works. Charge, minus 1, minus 1, 0, it works. It seems that my Feynman diagram was correct. If you Google Feynman diagrams on the web, you might fall on the Wikipedia page of Feynman diagrams. And one of the examples there is here is Kaon plus decaying into Pion plus plus Pion plus plus Pion minus. What I like about this one is that when you look at the Feynman diagram, there's both a weak force and strong force involved. But first, let's uh, find the composition. Kaon Plus, it so has to be a strange, and I would see an anti strange and then up. Yeah, that would work. Up anti strange. And pi plus, so it would be up anti down, up anti down, and anti up down. Okay, let's give it a shot. 
And afterwards, I'm, I'm going to actually try to remember what I saw. And then, as an exercise, you'll verify if I got it right or not. So, let's start with the K+. plus. If I remember well, I've got the up here, which is conserved as an up. The anti-strange, therefore, splits into a W+. Plus. And... Oh, is it an uh, anti up? Then the W plus itself flips in splits into an anti down and the up. And from the up, there's emitted a gluon that splits into an anti down and a down. And this gives you the pi plus the pi plus, and the up, down, not the up, down, so a pi minus. So what are the vertices in here? We have one there. Oh, I forgot to put the arrow. We have one there, and we have one there. By checking the quantum numbers on these vertices, can you check if my memory is good? Let's look at the first one. Let's put a little one here. Um, I start with an anti-strange, giving me a W plus plus an anti-up. So the binary number, well, that's going to be minus one third, minus one third, so it's conserved. Charge, this is going to be one third, this is going to be plus one, this is minus two thirds, so one third, one third, check. Leptons, there's no leptons involved. Strangeness. It's not conserved because I start with a strange, but I end up with an up. So I could say, yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah, but it's the weak force which is involved. So I'm fine here. If it was here, it wouldn't work, right? Oh, there's a vertex here too. Okay, so two. I've got W plus giving me an anti down plus an up. By your number, minus one third plus one third. So B is okay. Charge plus one, plus one third, plus two thirds, charge okay. Strangeness zero everywhere okay, and there's no lepton number. Three, so let's consider this one, where I have a nap, gives me a nap plus a gluon. Bio number conserved, charge conserved, the gluon has no charge. Uh, strange is conserved, lepton number conserved, so we're fine. Four, the gluon, I'll just write it here. Four, the gluon becomes an anti down plus a down. Barrier number zero here, zero. Charge cancels, so it's still zero. Lepton number, there's no leptons. And strange is there's no strange quarks. So all these vertices satisfy the rule of conservation of quantum numbers. <laughs>